Health officials urge heightened awareness as eight more cases of coronavirus infection are confirmed over the weekend. On Saturday, October 31st, two cases were registered from the Castries and Groselet districts, and Sunday, November 1st, the six other cases were registered coming from the Babano, Castries, and Vuhor districts. This brings the total number of cases diagnosed in country to 84. At least five of the new patients were identified through the contact tracing process, linked to previous cases. All eight patients have been transferred into care at the respiratory hospital. In a statement Sunday, Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar george asked the public to be conscious of the COVID-19 situation and the stricter national protocols that took effect on Friday 30th October. Let's all be guided by the new advisories that were issued by the government of St. Lucia last week. We ask all who will be within their work environments commuting via public transportation, going into public places to transact business or going through their routine daily activities to be on a higher level of awareness. Ensure that in undertaking all of your activities that you remain aware of the need to act in ways that will reduce the risk of being exposed to the COVID-19 virus. Government implemented new measures to reduce the movement of people as much as possible for the month of November. These include all business operations and commercial activity on island must cease by 9 p.m. Exemptions are listed. Employers are being called to institute work from home programs. Mass crowd events are reduced from 50 to 25 individuals per event. Religious institutions to be guided by the square footage of their worship facilities. Closure of school compounds extended to the entire month of November and sale of alcohol is permissible, but bars must operate by grab-and-go policy to limit high-risk social gatherings. These advisories have been introduced to secure the health of our nation. With every challenge comes opportunity. The Ministry of Health therefore encourages everyone to utilize these 30 days to improve how we regulate our movements and behaviors to reduce the risk of exposure. These 30 days provide us with adequate time to form new lifestyle habits.